this question has been haunting me since I picked up a pen for the first time. What should I draw? In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to find something to draw. And by the end, I will tell you the one thing they all have in common. Number one, find a workout. Think of your drawing as an exercise. We can practice various drawing skills, such as hatching or composition. I've put some suggestions for you in the description below this video. For example, today I want to work on my perspective skills. These stairs are perfect for perspective drawing because it is easy to figure out the vanishing lines. I try out a variety of views to train different types of perspective. And I don't mind that some of my lines are off. Remember, this is about practicing a skill, not about a perfect result. Number two, find opposites. What makes many artworks exciting is some sort of conflict, a tension between opposites. So let's look around and find them. Maybe it is the opposite between old and new, or between one and many, or in my case today, between the rectangular lines of this grid and the organic lines of the wine. On the surface, the subject of my drawing is the wine, but what I'm really drawing is the opposite between rectangular and organic shapes. This helps me make decisions about which details to draw and what to leave out. Number three, find something ugly. Some things we find beautiful and others not so much. When we look for something to draw, we usually focus on the beautiful, like a pretty flower, an attractive face or a cute animal. How about we try something different and look out for ugly things? Like this nasty spot behind the sink, this withered leaf, or the cable situation behind my desk. Now, when we look at something like this, we can either see a chaotic mess, or we can see an interesting rhythmic movement of lines. When we discover a characteristic of something ugly and capture it in a drawing, something remarkable happens. The ugly thing becomes beautiful. So, whenever we draw something ugly, we make it beautiful. And as a consequence, we find ourselves surrounded by more and more beautiful things. Pick a workout, choose opposites, and find something ugly. What do these three things have in common? When we search for something to draw, we often look for something extraordinary, something awesome. And we hope that this awesomeness will lead to awesome drawings. But this is not how it works. More often than not, a big subject will overwhelm us. So, instead of looking for a big subject, many artists do the opposite. They look for something small, something ordinary. They turn something small into something big. Because really, nothing is ordinary. So when you don't know what to draw, find something small and make it big. 